day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're talking about how to clean up some skulls here. Now, I know that there's a million and one YouTube videos on how to do this, uh, so I'm going to give you the cheap and dirty, simple MB Wildman way. It's uh, pretty easy, but you can't be in a hurry. So, anyway, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wildman channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We sure would appreciate it. Uh, and as always, we're looking for questions, comments, feedback, you know, whatever you got along these lines. Please leave those in the comment section down below. And we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can on those. We love hearing from people at home. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of work with some skulls. Uh, not much. I've got a couple of ideas, just uh, some, some things I want to try out. But um, I don't have all the gear to do, you know, like the professional Euro mount type skulls, as you can see here. Right, my buddy Walker did these. Did a great job on the bear and uh, pretty good job on a little, a little five point I got a couple of years ago. So anyway, um, what I do to, uh, what I've done so far, I guess, to make this happen is I use all my, my skulls out of the bone pile. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work with a, with a raccoon skull today. And all I do is uh, I don't pressure wash stuff and I don't boil a bunch of stuff. And like I say, there's a ton of YouTube videos on how to do that. But I just wanted to show you what I do to, to whiten them up and to clean them up after they're, they're pretty much done. So in this bowl, I've got basically a raccoon skull. Um, that I got and what I do is I just pick these off the bone pile so as most of you trappers have somewhere in your world you've got a place where you dump all the bodies uh, after you've skinned stuff and process them to the best of your ability so um, I just went back and picked up a full skull it's probably been back there I don't know it's probably been back there for two or three years uh, and the the bugs and mother nature herself have done all of my work for me okay so they've got all the teeth right they were all really really loose already they were all still there and i pulled all the teeth out put them in this little bowl right so i get all the little teeth right and they all fit back in just perfectly but i do want to whiten them up and clean them up and make sure that they're not uh make sure that they're safe to display the way i'm going to do it so I've got both bottom jaw sections. Now, the, the bottom tooth here, it's loose, but it didn't come out. So we'll see if it pops out after boiling. It's not essential that they come out, but I just don't want to lose them in the mix. So I've got all the teeth out, and I've got the jaws, and I've got the top part of the skull. And for this project that I'm doing, I want the whole skull. So I don't just want the, it's not like a Euro mount where I just use the top part with the top teeth. Uh, I, want, I want the full deal, okay? Because I'm going to make a, a 3D display from it, hopefully. Um, but anyway, so you can see when they come out of the bone pile, they're pretty much white, you know, like, like uh, the sun is bleached a lot, but you do get some stains, right? So they're not, they're not exactly clean, um, but the bugs do a great job. They hollow out all the cavities. You don't have to worry about taking any of this stuff out. The teeth are nice and loose. You can just pop the teeth right out. Look, I just pop that one out. And then at the end, hopefully we'll glue those back in, you know, before they go, so. All right, so that's it as far as that goes. I've got all my pieces in here. And now all I use to bleach these and to whiten these up is, uh, this is from Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, I don't know in the States what your equivalent to Shoppers Drug Mart is or if there's Shoppers Drug Marts in the States or whatever, but um, whatever, it's just a regular, um, it's not a drug store. It'll kind of, it's like, a, I guess it is a drug store, Shoppers Drug Mart, it's a drug store, but. Anyway, this is called ice cream, uh, and this is 30% volume, 9% uh, hydrogen peroxide, and it's a, it's a cream that you'd put on your hair if you wanted to, to bleach your hair. So it's not exactly a professional beauty product, um, because you can pick it up, like you say, at a local, local store. Uh, this is exactly $4, okay, and there's 100 milliliters in here. Depending on the size of the skull you want to do, this should be lots, okay? Uh, you're going to need something like this pan, deep enough that the whole skull can be submerged and you've got about half the pan left, okay? So whatever you're gonna do, you wanna make sure that you've got half because this will bubble up when it boils, okay? Um, so you're just gonna put all your, or I'm just gonna put all the pieces in the pan along with all the teeth and everything else. Okay, so this is what I'm actually gonna use to boil with and then I'm gonna mix up uh, 50 mils, so half of this container, I'm gonna mix up 50 milliliters of this to 200 milliliters, so one to four, four to one, uh, mixture of this and uh, just warm water, okay? And then I'm gonna set it on an open flame, like, 
this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna light this baby up. I'm gonna do this outside. And we're gonna do this with this, with this mixture, water, and this uh, ice cream product, this 30, 30 volume. Uh, we're gonna let that boil away for about, I'm gonna do it for about an hour, um, I think. And the longer you do it, the, ooh, can't see me. The longer you do it, the wider your project will get up to a certain point. So I guess it depends on what you're looking for, for style and, and everything else. Some people don't do the teeth, or they only do the teeth for a little while, then pull them out. Again, that's completely up to you, whatever you want to do in that department, but I'm just showing you what I do. So anyway, stick with me. I'll set this up and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Make sure you're using rubber gloves when you handle this stuff. Okay, it is, it is uh, hydrogen peroxide, so it can do some damage to your skin. I'm going to put half of this bottle in, which I lied to you a minute ago. I said it was 100 mils. It's not. It's 150. So I'm going to put in 75 milliliters. It's all, it's all marked here on the side, but I'm gonna put in 75 milliliters of this cool stuff. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna make sure I put the cap back on that and put it out of the way, out of the reach of children. Okay, so once I have that, uh, 75 milliliters in there, I'm just gonna fill it up with warm water to the point where it covers uh, covers my skull. Okay, as you can see, I've moved outside to a well-ventilated area because as this boils, it does give off some fumes and you don't want to, uh, you don't want those in the confines of your house. Okay, so what we've done is just put this on uh, and I'm going to let it boil away here for about an hour and then I'll give it a check and see. Um, that's about what I usually do for a, for a skull this size, like a fox skull or a raccoon skull real small, is I usually go about an hour. That usually gives me the the whiteness that I want, like the bleach that I want, okay? Uh, if it does start to boil too much, you can kind of scrape a top layer of foam off the top if you want. Um, and if you find that your skull floats, if, it, if, if during the boiling process it starts to bubble up and the skull starts to float to the top, you just take a little stir stick or a wooden spoon or whatever and, and scooch it around so that the, uh, so the air comes out of it and, it and it stays in the liquid. You can see here I'm only about 10 minutes into the boil. And I thought I'd come back and show you that uh, when you let Mother Nature clean stuff off, there's inevitably going to be little bits of stuff, you know, like um, forest floor stuff and bug stuff and whatever else, you know, kind of in the nasal cavity and in the brain cavity and things like that. But when you bring your, when you bring this mixture up to a rolling boil like this, um, it tends to get into all those cracks and crevices and all that stuff just boils out to the top and that'll just be easy to pour off and dump off and... You didn't have to spend a lot of time spraying or washing or picking that stuff out of the skull. You just uh, let Mother Nature run its course. Okay, so my hour is up and I can see that this has reached a nice level of whiteness that I want. Uh, I'll just take this off the heat now. Actually, what I'm going to do is just shut the heat off. Okay, so I'm just going to shut the flame off. And then I'm just going to let this cool. Uh, not cool, but just let it... Uh, let it set for a little bit, maybe five minutes or so, and then I'm gonna take it in and I'm gonna lay out all the little pieces that I've got in there, the teeth, the skull, the jaws, all that. I'm just gonna lay that out on a cloth to dry, and then once it's dry, it should be uh, just what I'm looking for. Okay, so everything laid out now, um, all across my, my paper towel, just letting it dry a little bit, and uh, I'll show you up close here just in a second, but these are these are really what I'm looking for for this project. Now, if you like your stuff to be like chalk white, bleach white, you can either repeat this process uh, after you've you've done it one time like this for an hour. You can you know get new liquid and do it again, and that will whiten it that much more. Um, or you can double up on your bleach first time out. Now, the only reason that I don't recommend you double up on your bleach the first time is that you will sometimes get little bits of flesh and little bits of things that you may want to clean off after this first time out. Um, I really didn't get much this on this one, but sometimes you will. And if you do, sometimes it takes just a little bit of scrape. You know, you might have to just, just pick those off a little bit or um, rinse those off uh, before you do the second one uh, to get the full bleach that you want. But Anyway, this is what I was looking for. Um, you will find too that if you do it this way, a lot of the molars, a lot of the front teeth will whiten right up, but a lot of the molars will keep that stained uh, right on the top of the molar where it was. And for the project that I'm doing, I'm okay with that. I want to leave that in. I don't want it to be, like I say, chalk white. But um, 
anyway, pretty quick, simple, easy way that you can whiten up skulls. And now from here, it's a jigsaw puzzle. You just have to, you know, put the teeth back in the holes, a little bit of crazy glue or a little bit of epoxy and glue the teeth all back in. And then you'll have a completed skull to work with for whatever craft project or whatever it is that you wanted to clean the skull for, uh, put on display or whatever it might be. So, well, folks, here's what I ended up with once I got the jigsaw pieces all back in. So I got his teeth all put back in and uh, everything I'm gonna put in anyway for this project. And I've got him back together, his jaw just a little bit open. Anyway, you can see the great job that that whitener does um, on, on the skulls. And this is quick and easy, right? I mean, sorry, let me rephrase. It's not quick. It's, uh, I mean, Mother Nature has to take its course for a while, but, but this is a great process for uh, when you find skulls, right? So if you're out in the woods and you find a skull and you wanna keep it, um, or you find a big tooth or whatever and you want to keep it. Uh, this is a great process for that. Anyway, uh, like I say, this is, uh, this is the end result. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps you out. It's certainly not the only way that you can whiten the skull. I'm just showing you the way that I do it. It's uh, cheap, you know, $5. Um, but again, you can't be in a hurry because this, this skull has been laying out in the bone pile for, I don't know, a year, maybe, eight, eight, you know, whatever. Uh, this would have been Today is, this is July, this is 1st of July, so this would have been, this would have been an animal from early last fall. So, you know, six months would be a minimum that you're going to leave this out here and let nature take its course. So, if you're in a, a more of a hurry than that, uh, there's another couple of methods, and I may do a video uh, in a little bit on uh, boiling a skull and cleaning it off. But um, for right now, this is what I've done. So, anyway, hope this helps you out and something you can use. And until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.